that. There is a veterinarian in Kenosha who is helping abused and neglected animals in every way possible. This includes medications and even surgery, and most of all, love. Dr. William Carlisle joins us now along with the president of Kenosha Forgotten Friends, Sa uh, Sandy Majest. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I really right. appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having us. You know, let's go back to when I first found you guys, when I was reporting last summer on a little cat. His name was Arrow and he was abused. He was put in something that was very hot and had third degree burns. And we mm -hmm. actually have video of you guys wrapping his paws. Mm -hmm. And that's when I first got to know you guys. Can you tell me how he's doing now? He's actually doing very well. He's in a home by himself. He's the king of the house. He's 100% recovered. No sensitivity in the paws whatsoever. It's so great. Without you, I'm who knows what his life would right. have been. Can you tell me how you guys got started with this organization? We started about two and a half years ago. Um, four animals, four cats were dumped off at the back door of Kenosha Animal Hospital in a cardboard box. And that happens often, you say? It happens often where Dr. Carlisle has for many, many years just found homes for them. I've been a client of Dr. Carlisle's for 20 years. Both of us share the same passion of helping the animals so we sat down and decided to start our own organization and very quickly we're going to go through the cats first we'll talk about yuki so go ahead dr carlisle well yuki was brought in by a good samaritan she was about three and a half pounds she was outside and and uh, extremely emaciated from starvation um, she looks great i would she, never know she's yeah. almost uh, two and a half times um heavier now she's back to 100 percent normal but she had the collar had uh, became uh, caught underneath one of her arms, her right front uh, leg, and she had a four inch uh, festering wound wow. uh, that uh, when she was first brought in, we did the initial uh, blood panel, found that her protein levels were extremely low, some liver enzymes were elevated and she was quite anemic. And we'll go through Sammy really quick, very S quick. <laughs> Sam Sammy was found with uh, his litter. They were all infected with botfly. Sammy developed complications where he had difficulty breathing. He needed surgery to remove the polyps. Which one's up for sale? Or up for Yuki adoption? Yuki is up for Yuki's adoption. Up for yes. Not for sale. Yeah. <laughs> up for adoption, <laughs> yes. Up for adoption. Yes, That's and Sammy now, after a little over a year of treatments and surgeries, is in a He's already adopted in a wonderful home and 100%. And the owner's right there. The owner the is right house. here in the studio. And how do you guys afford this very quickly? We do it by, we rely strictly on donations. We have fundraisers um, and thanks to the staff at Kenosha Animal Hospital, and all Dr. of our Kyle, board members, right, Dr. Dr. Carlisle. This is all for free. Yes. Yes, okay. so we do have to pay the vet bills, but he donates a lot of his time. So. Okay, well, thank you so much. If you would like to get a hold of Kenosha Forgotten Friends, we have information on how to donate um, at tmj4.com slash links. It's there right now on tmj4.com. Thank you so much for joining me. I just love Kenosha Forgotten Friends, and it was such a great story reporting, and I'm so glad I was able to talk to you guys this morning. And happy Valentine's thank Day. Thank you. We'll be back right after this.